Hey guys and welcome to Smart Home Things, a channel dedicated to smart home technology. Today we are continuing the project we started one week before, so we are making our smart lamp controllable via Apple Home app with use of Homebridge. Uh, if you haven't watched that, there's a link to that movie uh, in the top right, so please go watch it. Uh, so we stopped off with our smart lamp being controllable uh, with a web interface uh, with use of uh, Tasmota firmware and MQTT protocol. So uh, now uh, I'll show you how to configure everything to work with Apple Home. Uh, to do that we need, uh, we have few prerequisites. Uh, so the first of them is of course uh, Homebridge service running. Second, I'll be using the uh, Homebridge GUI configuration. So if you don't have that, there's also a video on my channel to uh, basically guide you through that process, how to do that. Uh, but if you have everything ready, uh, then basically you are good, good to go to watch the rest of this movie. Uh, there is one more thing. Um, first of all, uh, we will be using MQTT uh, protocol, so this can work with Domotic and Home Assistant. So uh, basically, with some modification, you can use that. You can use this video uh, to configure your device in some other software other than Homebridge. But I will be showing uh, exclusively how to do this in Homebridge. One more thing: some of you said that. Uh, what was done in the previous video can be uh, done pretty much cheaper with Son of Basic. And that's actually true, but basically you can do it with one or another. And uh, I had a lot of fun basically doing all those uh, switches and cables. So uh, basically uh, do what you like and there's no uh, real difference uh, on what switch you are using uh, in this project. So uh, have fun and uh, enjoy the rest part of the video. So the first thing you need to do is log in to your home bridge. I'm using the GUI uh, configurator. So if you don't know how to do that, please watch one of my pre previous videos where you can learn how to do it yourself. When you are in home bridge config, make sure that Homebridge MQTT Sync plugin is installed. The only remaining part now is the config. If you are using Tasmota firmware, you can basically copy over the config that I'm using and change the device topic to yours. Now the config setup. Uh, the config setup has few lines and now uh, we'll discuss uh, line after line what's going on here. So accessory remains always the same. It's a identifier for the plugin type. For lamp, I'm using a simple light bulb type. Other device types can be found on the plugin's GitHub page. Name is how your device will be named in Apple Home. You can rename that later in the Apple Home app. Username and password are basically your login credentials for your MQTT broker. And now the most important part, full topics. To simplify things, you can just copy over my topics and change the middle part in your MQTT config of your Tasmota device. But if you want to know where this comes from, uh, then go to your Tasmota device IP address and go into console. Now go to your switch and just switch it on and off. So the second uh, topic, uh, the command topic or COMN, uh, is defined in Tasmota firmware as the state change command. You can also type it manually and see the light switch switch on and off. And now on and off values are plain on and off for Tasmota. And the last thing we have to do is start pub line. Basically just copy set on topic. Uh, this is used to 
detect basically the device state when your Raspberry Pi reboots and reads all the devices that are running. Okay, so that's the end of the video. We have our smart lamp working in Apple Home. If you liked the video, please uh, press the like button and consider subscribing because this really motivates me to create a lot more of this kind of videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.